I'm underneath my Grand Cherokee and I just pulled out this motor which evidently runs the electronic limited slip. Wow, actually motorized, what the hell? So the code I pulled, I installed some app called JSCAN. Must be something like Forescan, doesn't look anything as capable of course, but it does let you read codes and I think you can make some changes to the modules with it. But I was reading on the forum that they said this should spin easily and if not it might be got some deterioration internal that plagues these things. So it does squeak when I turn it <laughs> and it takes a lot of effort. So I don't know if this is a stepper motor or just electronic with a bunch of sensors, but uh, it's not riveted together, is it? Might not be able to take it apart. Shit. Well, anyway, I'm going to take a peek at it if I can. And if not, that's probably what's wrong with it. And I have an appointment for it to be checked, you know, for under the warranty. Extended warranty I got. But uh, that's not for a week from now because they're just busy. So it would be nice if it's just something I could clean out or a bearing or something. Plus, I'd rather fix it myself anyway. I just did something for shits and giggles, but I attached the drill here, used this to protect the shaft, and spun this thing at a high rate of speed as I moved it around a little bit, hopefully to wick some oil into that bearing. And the funny thing is, it's actually spinning freely now. It's not squeaking. Now, I wouldn't trust that as a fix. It'll be interesting to put it back in there and see if it works. Hey, going for a test drive. As soon as I plugged in J-Scan, before I started the engine, it uh, didn't say active anymore, it just said stored. So I hit clear, and it still shows it's stored, but that's typical. It was a stored code. And the lights have not come back on, so I'm going to get up here, see if my cruise control enables. It did. This guy turn it on. There we go. That's a big deal. I have, a, I have to go a two-hour drive tomorrow morning for a job. It was going to suck going down the Interstate 17. Actually, it's the Interstate 10 with no fucking cruise control for that long. Let's see if I can piss it off. <laughs> Shit. working you better stay in your lane fucker mm. got their blinker on just sitting next to me they don't like that fuck I'm gonna get out of the way <laughs> you gotta speed I held my speed you know the person needing to change lanes just like the person merging on the freeway needs to be the one that speeds up or slows down to get into traffic the shit of just keeping their blinker on and waiting for you to move out of the way is fucking ridiculous but that's what you get when you get woke I'm sure when you do that in sport mode it probably activates the uh, clutches just reading on I guess it uh, measures the amount of torque it's applying to the to the clutches in the rear differential to give it a certain amount of slip. So I guess it's all kind of automatic. Okay, that's enough of that. All right, well, I'll just have to see how it goes tomorrow while I drive it, but I think it's gonna work for a while. Probably keep my appointment. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna change the part, but they could probably see the stored code in there. But I tell the mechanic if they're cool, you know, what I found, and maybe show them the video of it, that it was locked up almost, squeaking real bad when I spun it. It's pretty funny that I uh, kind of spun it real fast with the drill. It kind of, it felt totally normal after I did that. No squeaking, no resistance. Maybe it was just a piece of debris that was in there. I don't know, I'm going to put post on the Jeep forums. I know that uh, people said on there that sometimes some debris gets down in there and jams these things up. It gets actually in between the, uh, the armature, the magnets, you know, in there. So uh, maybe I just got it out of there when I spun it like that. It might be actually fixed for a long time.
maybe I won't need to take it to the dealership. No, well, see how it goes for the rest of the week. Maybe that's how I'll decide. But now I know what it is. Probably not. If it works all week, I think there's no point in taking it to the dealership because it might keep my vehicle for days. They told me they probably would because it's busy now. Keep it for days and then say, well, we can't duplicate the problem. We can't use the warranty because it's not which because it's not broke, which is true. Warranties don't cover stuff that's worn; it covers stuff that fails. So, yeah. anyway, I'm just happy it's working again. This is awesome. Anyway, that catch you guys later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. <laughs> I promise to get some more HVAC content. <laughs> I'll try to get some more HVAC content up there.